Hey guys, what's up? Brimo here. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about overwhelm. So if you're working on an extremely big project, your big dream, your big desire that you're working towards, chances are at some point you're probably going to become overwhelmed. That's totally normal. Now some people might try to tell you that if you're overwhelmed, you're just not taking enough action. And there may be a little bit of truth to that, but for me, I feel like being overwhelmed isn't about not taking enough action. I mean, if you really think about it, you're probably deciding on how much action you can actually take. You're probably writing down a list of steps and things that you can do in order to get there, and it's probably overwhelming you. So yeah, it is kind of about taking action, but what it really is, is that your focus is off. You're focused on how big this project is how big this dream, this desire, this thing that you want so bad, it's so big, it may be uncharted territory, something you've absolutely never done and it freaks you out. It's totally normal, totally normal. If you're not thinking that big, then your dream honestly isn't worth it. Like you really need to strive and think big when it comes to your dreams. So all overwhelm kind of means is that you need to shift your focus on, oh my gosh, there's so many steps, and to stop thinking like that instead of thinking, what can I do right now to go towards my goal? What little baby step can I take that'll get me towards that goal? I don't know if you've ever heard this, but I've heard that people that try to climb Mount Everest, the ones that succeed don't focus on how many steps there are. The people that fail, they do that. They're like, oh my gosh, it's there's so much more to go. I'm never gonna make it, I just can't do this. And of course they're gonna fail because they're already thinking about like how many steps they're, they have to take and what they have to do and cross this dangerous terrain in order to get to the top of Mount Everest. But the people that have actually completed it, have actually succeeded, don't think about that. They think about one step at a time. I'm taking this step, I'm taking this step, I'm taking this step until finally they reach the top. Before they know it, they reach the top, they've reached the summit, they're celebrating, they're excited, they succeeded. If you're focused on how many steps there are, you're gonna fail. You're gonna get so overwhelmed that you're not gonna wanna take action at all. And you just don't need to do that. You need to focus on exactly what you can do right now. So to get overwhelmed is natural. Don't worry about it, everybody gets overwhelmed at some point. Don't beat yourself up about it, but don't focus on how many steps you need to take. If you wanna write down some steps that you can take, that's totally fine, but don't focus on that, don't dwell on it. Pick one of those and work on it. One step at a time. That's how you're gonna get your goal.